If you are new to editing video or you've been editing for quite some time, we can all agree that it's a time consuming process. And I've learned over the years that there are some shortcuts that you can implement and learn about that'll help you save time in post or when you're editing so you can get to making more videos. So in this video, I'll be showing you some keyboard shortcuts that'll save you time when editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. I love that Premiere Pro has this ability to actually customize my keyboard to help me uh, edit even faster. And I just wanted to share a few shortcuts that I like to implement uh, when I'm editing. And you can access those keyboard shortcuts uh, by clicking on Premiere Pro at the top of your screen. Uh, head over into Keyboard Shortcuts. And as you can see, it's kind of everything that you uh, is maybe default if you haven't messed with this already. But two things I want you to consider trying is number one, uh, it's called Add Edit to all tracks. Now this will just literally slice my video uh, all the way through from the top down. And I love this feature because when I'm editing talking head videos, uh, it just, it'll cut uh, right then and there. I don't have to hit C and then, and then cut. Uh, it'll just use the timeline. So let me, I'll show you how that works, but I'm gonna click and drag this onto X. So now I have applied it to my X. If it gives you a prompt, just say okay. And then the next one is called ripple delete. So I'm gonna hit, type in ripple delete here, and then I'm gonna drag it to Z. Now, uh, now I can keep my fingers really close to each other, but I'm gonna hit okay. And now what's so cool about these two shortcuts is if I'm editing talking head video in which we like helping a lot of entrepreneurs here on this channel and people who are like filming themselves. But if you wanna cut through your videos fast, you know, wherever your cursor is right here, which I use as my marker to cut. So if I like this cut right here, I'm just gonna hit the letter X and it's gonna make the slice. And then I'm gonna cut uh, that mess up out, which is right here. So I'm gonna hit X again. Then I'm gonna select the clip I wanna delete and just hit the letter Z. And then it then cuts out the clip and then brings the clip that I want closest to the other clip. And it makes it super easy to scrub through my A roll, like the talking head portion like this. Uh, super simple and so those are two cool shortcuts that I like using another few uh, if you don't know are like command Z and so if you did something that you accidentally didn't want to do you just hit command Z and then uh, there you have it. it you know it's right there if I wanted to take away the cuts now I'll take away the cuts uh, so that's one another one is actually the letter a if I hit the letter a if you notice two arrows come up essentially um, if you want to move everything over so I don't have to like you know, click and select all my clips that are uh, there and then move them and accidentally miss one and then mess up my edit. You literally can just hit A and once this arrow comes up, just click and hold and it'll drag everything to the right of that clip. Uh, it'll select and drag as you select and drag. And so you only have to click one clip to then move. And this is very helpful if you wanna put something in between, you know, your edit or something like that. But I really love that trick as well. But all in all, just get used to getting good at shortcuts because it'll really speed up your editing. All right, if you got value out of those tips, why don't you hit the like button for me, thank you so much. And let me know which shortcut you feel that you can use most in the comments below. I believe you can speed up any part of the process without sacrificing quality and it becomes a win-win for everyone. But be sure to check out our Premiere Pro playlist by clicking or tapping the screen. And I cannot wait to see you in a future video. Peace.